Hi, welcome to Greg's Bass Shed. In this video, I'm going to do a review of my Harvest bass guitar case. My case is obviously a bass guitar case, um, but this review is relevant as well for the Harvest guitar cases. I've had this case now for about three years. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. It doesn't seem to have aged at all in those three years. Um, still looks really new. And two people stopped me earlier in the street this week um, to ask me what the case was, so I thought I'd make a review. Harvest are a German company, and you can view all their cases over at harvest-guitar.com. I'll put that in the description below this video, a link to them so you can have a look yourself. I live in the UK and delivery was really fast and efficient to me. I'm not sure what the delivery process is for those of you outside of Europe, but I'm sure they ship worldwide. If anyone from Harvest sees this review, then maybe you can comment below and let everyone have a bit more information about the delivery um, and if you have any distributors worldwide. My case is Buffalo Nubuck, um, but they come in lots of different leathers and different colours. It's extremely well made um, and it's got poppers um, for the handle here and for the back, um, poppers, really robust poppers here for the um, straps and at the bottom as well, this is really good, there's some extra um, padding here at the bottom. So as I said, I've had it for three years and it's still like new. Um, I got caught out in some really heavy rain the other day. I was a bit worried about the base, um, but the rain seems to just sort of bounce off the new back. Um, when I got home, I checked it, it was perfectly dry inside. So it's got a large pocket here for leads um, and in ears, whatever you want to store in there, and a small pocket up here. I put batteries and pens and pencils in there. Um, and it's got a really soft lining uh, inside. So you can see this line in here. Um, it's quite thick, so it really protects uh, the instrument. You could got some leather there and on the bottom as well inside. Um, so all the places that would get worn um, are sort of reinforced. So the only thing really that might not work for you um, is that the case is quite heavy once the base is inside. But um, it's inevitable really if you want to give that level of protection um, to your instrument that it's going to be that heavy. I mean it's still a lot lighter than a hard case uh, and once it's on your back you don't really notice at all. So I regularly walk half an hour to a show um, with the base on my back and half an hour back um, no problem at all. So I bought the case for around about 300 euros and um, that's a bit more than a normal base case. Um, but I just got fed up of buying cases every year, every couple of years, um, breaking and having to replace it. And I can really actually see this last in me a lifetime. Um, there's a drummer I know who's a bit older than me and he's had a cymbal case, a sort of leather cymbal case um, since he was 20. And um, yeah, I can see this doing a similar thing really, last in me um, a lifetime really. So I'd say that if you're in the market for a really, really good um, leather case for your instrument, then definitely look at Harvest. If you've got any questions about this review, about the bag or anything, then um, just write a comment below and I'll try and help you out. So I've got a load more gear reviews and bass lessons here on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe if you're interested in that. Or you can go over and look at gregsbassshed.com. That's my website. I've got more videos over there, more bass resources. And if you sign up to my mailing list, you can get a free ebook um, that's got my first 50 PDFs from my first 50 videos. So I'll put all my links to my website, um, to Instagram and Facebook below, and um, the link to Harvest. So if you have a look at that, there'll be some useful links. This is Greg from Greg Spaceshed. I'll see you in the next video.